In this video, we're going to have a look at how to add this uh, shopping cart here with the totals. And to show you how that works, if I scroll down to a product and I add to cart, you will see that the total then is updated. Now on the website, we also have the side cart that opens up. So we can see there we have the quantity $115. And in the header now, we also have the summary of the total. So where, where the side cart just shows you how many items are in the cart, at the top of the page, then we have an indication of how many items as well as the total when the side cart isn't open. If you click on the um, basket, you'll be taken to the cart and then you'll see that that um, display doesn't show because you're not looking at the cart. So there's no need to have the basket summary there because you're looking at what's in your cart. And then if you proceed to check out, you'll see that that uh, information is also then not visible there because we have that information available to us in our shopping cart. So to show you how that fits together, it's very easy. And we're going to head down here then to this WP menu cart and we'll pop over here to view the details. And you'll see that this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the menu cart for WooCommerce. And you'll see that in the free version, you have the display cart icon, or you can choose to have only items and prices, display items only, price only, or both, display always or only when there are items in the cart, float left, float right, or use the menu's default settings, customize your own CSS. And then they do have a pro version, and the biggest difference there is that the pro version allows a fly out, of the items that are in the cart. So this will just give you the total and the items in the cart. And that works on this website because we've already deployed the side cart. So in the side cart, we can see what we have in our basket. And then uh, as a running total while we're shopping, we then have this um, element at the top of the page. So to show you how that's set up, once you've downloaded and installed that plugin, the WP menu cart, you can just then click on the settings. And on the settings page, it's really simple. It selects the e-commerce plugin you would like the menu cart to work with. So in this case, WooCommerce, set the menus in which you would like the menu cart. So I have an admin menu and a main menu. I simply selected the main menu. Always display cart, even if it's empty, I said yes. So that just means that if I have no items to display, so let me remove the items in my cart, it still indicates that I still need to do some shopping, so that's great. Then we have the um, show the menu, show on cart and checkout page. You can opt to show that, but if you're already in the cart or the checkout page, you don't need a summary of what's in your basket. Then we have display the shopping cart icon. And if you do display, there are a number of icons to choose from. In the free version, you can just show the one. And here you can also see some of the other pro options. For example, display cart contents in menu flyout. That would be included in the pro, set maximum number of products to display in the flyout, also in the pro. And then you have the choice of icons. What would you like to display in the menu? So item only, price only, or both price and items. And then also select the alignment that looks best with your menu, align to the left, align right. And I've just chosen the default menu alignment, but you can see that it's popped it in here on the right hand side. And that looks fantastic. And then the price to display, so cart total, including discounts, subtotal, total of products, or the checkout total, including discounts, fees, and shipping. Uh, hard to work out the shipping if you don't have the address for the person, so we didn't go with that one. Then we have the cart total, including discounts, and the subtotal, total of products. So. Uh, you'll see there we went for the cart total including discounts and then if you have a custom CSS class you can enter there but once again just in the pro version. So very simple in terms of settings and once you've hit the settings and you hit save head over to the website and the cart was immediately inserted into the menu didn't have to do anything. And as you add items, you'll see that add to cart, so it works off Ajax, the $15, 
and if I scroll to the top you'll see that the item has been added right so that's how easy it is then to add the mini cart um, icon and the or the number of items and the price to your navigation menu and the name of that plugin again then is W menu cart if you're interested in making a purchase they do have a link here which is um, to buy now and you can head over to the WP overnight website and you'll see that they have a couple of choices here 1325 um, custom CSS menu and one site license plus custom CSS so if you just have one website it's 29 euros and that is billed yearly so per year and it is actively maintain so not a bad choice if you want uh, something on your site i like the free version i need that and then i use this free site cart plugin then to give me the details of what's in my cart so the combination of both kind of cover both bases well hope you enjoyed that video thank you for watching